So you can buy necromancer in the shop now for gems for some reason, and you can actually use it. And to be honest, this tower should not be. You should not be able to buy this tower right now because it is kind of buggy. But if you wanted to see how it works, it's basically this. It attacks with like a projectile, like a magic projectile, which has no sound effect at this moment. And after every 30 damage, it's gonna spawn in those graves. And if you place the ability, those graves will become the skeletons, which, you know, they go... Well, they go the wrong side. But, but you get the point. You summon the skeletons and they go fight for you. And it has to be in this range, kind of like a turret for the, I mean, sentry for the engineer. Now, leveling it up, it actually gives it a lot of peace. It, actually, it, it can actually hit three enemies at once, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, it can hit a lot of enemies at once, which it can, it can actually kill some crowds now, because normally it's only one enemy, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, summoning is kind of broken. They go the opposite way for some reason. Uh, level 2 gives more ferrite, also makes you spawn more grave raids at the same time. And you can, al you can also now spawn the sword skeletons. Which, let me see if I can get... Oh, this one, which is kind of buggy. Also, this tower I forgot to mention. On level 1, this has flight and stealth detection. Now, level 3, it gives more range and more damage. You can, you can uh, you unlock also new grave stones, and it appears that the limit of 6 is the max. So let me summon them. And yes, the skeleton knights actually have like a level up, and now they chase after the this mystery, and they actually they actually cannot catch up. Which <laughs> okay, this this looks goofy. Look at this. They cannot catch up to the to the mystery. <laughs> okay, so the max level the dark hold it gets a lot of more fire rate. It also reduces the ma the damage, but unlocks the level freeze gravestone. Spawns executioner, executioner skeleton and spawns hollow guards and also apparently steals souls. Which oh, I see. Okay, so instead of a projectile, projectile he becomes like a like a tower that can hit multiple enemies at once constantly. It doesn't have to target each time, which definitely makes him better. Okay, let's check out the max gravestones. Oh, and this looks cool. Okay, this is good. Okay, this seems good so far, but it's still kind of buggy. And it's actually throwing the axe. Okay, this is good. The max level, the max level of this guy is actually pretty decent. But the earlier levels, not so much. Yeah, I think yeah, the four is the max he can attack at once. So yeah, that's pretty much the necromancer. I didn't suspect this tower to be released so early. I think it should be kept a little bit for longer because it does miss some sound effects. But yeah, overall, this tower, I think it becomes much, much better on level, on the max level. Early levels, kinda suck, not going to lie. Level 4 though, pretty good.